Hi guys, this is Yulia. I'll be going to do a short flow for uh, travelers. If you travel a lot or if you feel like stiff, if you work uh, sitting a lot, so you sit in front of your computer, great fall for you. We're going to open our shoulders, our hips, and just move things a little bit around. So to start, come to your hands and knees, place your hands shoulder distance, spread your fingers, you know that, you know, um, roll your shoulders back, knees underneath your hips, tuck your toes under if you need to, or press the tops of your feet to the floor. And we're going to, instead of doing a normal cat cow, a normal, like, you know, in, in the one direction, let's try and explore the whole range of movement of your spine like circle of big circles with your spine like middle of your spine move it to the sides down and then up and your head goes to the opposite direction and then you switch sides feels good anyways good and then come back to the center place your left hand slightly away then inhale bring your right arm up open your chest as you exhale thread the needle and place your right hand underneath your left shoulder you can place your left hand just on the fingertips. Keep your hips leveled. You can stay here or maybe you can bring this left arm up and then grab the... Some people can place it right on the sacrum or bring it to the crease of your right hip here and stay for a couple of breaths more. Nice way to twist slowly release your left hand to the floor come up so this time right hand slightly away inhale left arm up exhale place your left arm on the floor underneath your right shoulder keep your left keep your hips leveled bring your right arm up if it feels comfortable then on the sacrum or to the crease of your left hip and stay here breathe nice so when you finish place your right hand on the mat left onto the mat and then sit back come to child's pose for a moment then start walking your hands both to your right and feel the opening of the left side of your body breathe into your left side make it long and keep your hands just on the fingertips then slowly come back to the center and then move to the other side towards your left and feel the opening of the right side of your body on your spine make it long and slowly walk back to the center lift your hips place your hands spread your fingers wide rotate so your index finger is pointing to the front of your mat tuck your toes under lift your hips up and back down facing dog and again make your dog walking and active and live so you can bend your knees one at a time you can even sway your hips a little bit you can even place both heels to one side and then to the other side just play around and see how it works for you it is first down facing dog here on the next inhale look to the front of your mat 
as you exhale, bend your knees first and then start slowly walking your feet towards your hands. Place your feet hip distance apart. Press four corners of your feet down. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen and bring your spine to neutral, but charge your toes more so your heels lie and your hips directly above your heels. As you exhale, fold, release your neck, release your head down then bend your right knee and lower your right hip and feel feel your left leg the outer part of your left leg and then change side bend your left knee lower your left hip and feel your right leg and we do it one more time bend your right lower your right hip and then the other one left nice slowly come halfway up and then inhale charge your legs charge your feet bring your torso all the way up to standing arms overhead and then exhale hands in front of your chest open your arms to the sides and then bring your left underneath your right and you have two options here you can just grab your shoulders and feel the opening to the back of your shoulders there or you can interlace and come to your eagle arms here for that lift your elbows and move those palms away okay this part might be a little bit tricky so uh, shift the weight of your pelvis towards your right leg lift and pick up your left and then slowly step back open open your pelvis to the side open your toes angle your feet and then gently bend your knees and sit in between so it's like goddess legs with the angle arms and feel the opening to the back of your shoulders feels good and then slowly open your eyes so remember we had right on top of the left so this time we do the opposite left on top of the uh, right so it can be here or you can do eagle again if you do eagle lift your elbows and move away your hands staying a little bit more here keep breathing use your legs you can even you know do a little bit you can make it fluid feels good release your arms place your hands onto your waist and straighten your knees then place your feet parallel and um, normally how we ch uh, ch um, check the distance so from your wrist down you to come to your ankle so that would be pretty much the right distance for you uh, inhale here as you exhale start tilting your pelvis forward first tilt 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 and then place your hands onto your um, mat onto the floor in front of your mat stay here for one more breath just feel and then again inhale here exhale fold and bow and straighten your hands to the front like wide stand down facing dog make your side body long release your neck release your head feel the backs the insides of your legs here one more breath then place your let's start with the right right hand just in line with your shoulder left hand goes to the outside of your right shin inhale lengthen exhale twist keep your pelvis neutral here twist 
slow come back change sides so left hand or just the fingertips really feel with the fingertips it's kind of activating my whole arm here then twist towards your left grab the outer left shin with your right hand inhale lengthen exhale twist slowly come back to the center start walking your hands back place your hands underneath your shoulders for just one more breath and then charge your feet your feet are active here and see how much engagement you would need to place your hands onto your waist and then slowly come back up and then step to the front nice inhale arms up exhale tilt your pelvis and fall down uttanasana forward fall inhale half uttanasana or ardha uttanasana exhale place your hands and then step your left leg back and lower your left heel to the floor and prepare yourself for warrior two so if you draw a line from your front heel it would need to come to your inner arch for some people even heel to heel it would give you more space for the hips especially have tight hips there so might help you inhale windmill your arms and come to your warrior two and remember that leg requires internal rotation and that leg external rotated so your front knee in line with the front ankle Look over your right shoulder here. Stay. Breathe. And feel the activation of your legs. That's nice. Then straighten your right knee. And then open that leg. Just angle it slightly. Then lift your right heel. And then start bending your left and come you can place your hands but start without the hands so you feel your legs here more nice slowly come back oops and then we just from here change sides so place your left painting pointing forward right foot parallel to the shortage and then start bending your left knee bend your left place your left leg left knee in line with the left ankle internally rotate your right so your pelvis stays open bring your arms in line with your shoulders look over your left shoulder warrior two then again remember we straighten our left then ankle, uh, angle angle that um, right foot a little bit start bending and see it feels good remember you can always place your hands from stability or maybe you can do it without try play around but be gentle with yourself now slowly come back place your hands step your right foot back come to your down facing dog on the next inhale lift your right leg up as you exhale draw that knee in towards your chest and then place your right knee towards your next to your right wrist and open that maybe to the side a little bit then back up your left leg left foot and keep that um, ankle pointed so it stays in one line it's really easier for the knee try it out okay and then lower your 
forearms you can lower the whole left leg to the floor but try to keep it active so we kind of having an active release here so keep your left toes tucked under left knee lifted and feel feel here but at the same time try to widen your pelvis towards your right and towards your left so your pelvis stays neutral here as well feels good slowly place your hands and step back with your right foot come to your down facing dog and then we do the other side lift your left leg up as you exhale place that knee left knee next to your left wrist or maybe open it slightly towards your left keep that left ankle pointed back up your right leg if you need to and then tuck your right toes under lower onto your forearms and lift your right uh, knee off the floor and again the tendency would be to roll towards your right but you need to widen your pelvis towards your left equally so your pelvis broadens up to both sides and stays neutral here nice one more breath and slowly press onto your hands come to your down facing dog and from your start from your heels on the next inhale ripple forward to your plank pose as you exhale bend your elbows brush your body and lower down all the way to the floor untuck your toes and then bring your hands to your sacrum interlace your fingers and see if you can straight your elbows not necessary but if you can do that that would be a great opening for the front of your shoulders here so first before we come up press your pubic to the floor and then inhale and lift lift you can lift your legs too slowly release you can repeat the same one or grab the outside of your ankles with your hands just for a moment place your forehead to the floor then again pubic to the floor inhale lift up lift your torso up lift your legs up and exhale release make a pillow onto your hands and place your forehead just for a moment you can even sway your hips gently from side to side feels good okay guys place your hands and let's go to your down facing dog for one more time and then start walking forward cross your ankles and sit place the soles of your feet together knees open to the side and you can just simply lay down onto your back and stay here for a couple moments just to release any tension in the body feel your shoulders feel your hips feel your whole body well done slowly roll onto your left side or right side and come back up you can always do 
an Shavasana after that. Uh, or you can, another way to really ground yourself down and feel the relaxation is again to use a bolster or you know pillows like that i use a couple because they when you lay on them they kind they become quite flat so two would be nice so if you could place them next to the wall and then you can bring your pelvis your hips onto the pillows next to the wall and you can swing your legs up open your arms you can stay like that for five maybe 10 minutes, you know, it's a great way to restore the body, to calm down, to let go and just be, you know, with yourself. It's, um, it would be a good um, practice before you go to sleep or it would be a great way to finish your practice. So today we worked a little bit on the hips, on the hips and the shoulders and um, I hope you feel energized and relieved and relaxed at the same time. And this is the great advantage of practicing yoga, so you can feel both at the same time. Um, I really thank you for practicing with me and watching this video. Please leave your comments and like my videos, subscribe to my channel, more videos to come. And thank you for watching. Namaste.